We completely understand the frustration around the pollution in Yorkshire's seas and coastline, and we're really sorry that we didn't tackle these issues quickly enough. Please be assured that we're committed to turning our performance around. That's why we're investing in lots of schemes to help us do this. So let's take a look at some of these now. Hi everyone, welcome to the Science Behind with me Guy and today I'm in Whitby and I'm with Jag who's going to help me out by presenting this episode of the Science Behind. So Jag, what do you do for Yorkshire Water? So I'm a process design and improvement lead and I enable the business to manage and improve its processes to operate efficiently. Amazing. So what are we doing here in Whitby today? We're going to be meeting Faye to learn a bit more about bathing water. Cool, let's go and do it. Here I am with Faye. So Faye, what do you do for Yorkshire Water? Hi Jag, I'm Faye, the Coastal Delivery and Engagement Manager for Yorkshire Water. I work to improve the bathing water quality along Yorkshire's coastlines, specifically working in partnership with the councils, the Environment Agency and other stakeholders to do this. And what are we doing here today? So we're going to learn about all things bathing water quality and what we're doing to improve it here in Whitby. Right, so shall we go have a look? Yeah, of course, come on. So Faye, what is bathing water? A bathing water is an area of water designated and protected for use of bathing. This includes things such as paddling, swimming and water sports as well. The Environment Agency designate these bathing waters based on a number of factors including access, facilities available to bathers and also usage. In Yorkshire, we currently have 18 coastal bathing waters and one inland bathing water, but recently we have received two new applications for inland bathing water destinations. So can you tell me how uh, bathing water is classified? So bathing water can be classified as excellent, good, sufficient or poor. And this is based on a four year rolling average of samples taken by the Environment Agency during bathing season, which runs May to September annually. These samples taken test for the bacteria E. coli and intestinal enterococci. We are striving for excellent bathing water quality all year round. All sample results and bathing water classification information can be found on the Environment Agency's SwimFur website. Faye, what can affect bathing water quality? So bathing water quality is extremely complex and can be affected by a number of different things. This can include incoming water courses such as streams and rivers, animals and wildlife, runoff from the land, industrial practices in the area, natural UV radiation levels and also storm overflows. Can you tell us what is a storm overflow? So I'll start by explaining that the drainage network in England is mostly combined and by that, that means that surface water and sewage are both taken together in the pipes to a wastewater treatment facility for treatment. In periods of heavy rainfall and storm events, excess surface water entering the sewage system can cause the network to become overloaded due to excess surface water entering the system and to ensure that homes and treatment facilities do not flood a storm overflow will open and operate in these circumstances. So what are we doing to help the impact? So Jag, as part of the Storm Overflow Discharge Reduction Plan set out by DEFRA, we aim to meet or exceed the target of reducing all storm overflow discharges within one kilometre of a designated bathing beach by 2035. And Faye, how are we doing this? So in order for us to meet these targets, we will be investing heavily in our assets. This will be in a number of different ways, such as increasing storage, separating surface water and innovative blue-green solutions. 
Work has already begun on this plan with projects at Whitby, Wheatcroft in Scarborough and Bempton, all due to be delivered in 2024. So Faye, can you tell me about the work that we've got going on in Whitby? So in Whitby, we are investing over £1 million to separate surface water from wastewater and reduce storm overflows by 25%. This is part of a £180 million project to reduce storm overflows by 2025 with a further £1 billion of investment by 2030. Faye, can you tell me about surface water separation? Yes, of course. Here in Whitby, we are installing new surface water sewers, manholes and rerouting highway drainage on a number of roads. This will enable us to separate the surface water from properties and excess rainwater and send that directly to sea rather than combining it with wastewater. So how will this improve the water quality and the environment? So, the separation of surface water from wastewater will reduce the need for storm overflows in times of heavy or prolonged rainfall. This will in turn have a positive effect on the water quality of the coast and the marine environment here. So, what can we all do to help? So we can all do our bit. Small things really can make a big difference. So one thing you can do is check that your dog is allowed on the beach that you plan to visit and make sure you clean up after them. Putting your rubbish into the bin, not feeding the seabirds. If you do travel here by motor home, please make use of the chemical toilet emptying facilities available to you. And most of all, have fun. What does the future look like, Faye? So, we will continue to invest in our coastline and our assets through the Storm Overflow Discharge Reduction Plan and more. In addition to this, we will continue to work in partnership with the councils and the Environment Agency to investigate causes of poor water quality and take action to address and improve this. So Faye, thanks for your time today and talking around bathing water and the work we're doing to improve. No problem, Jag, it's been my pleasure. That was the science behind bathing water. Big thank you to Jag and to Faye for showing us around Whitby and also going into the exciting schemes to help improve the water quality. And please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you've got a question, leave it in the comment section below and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye.